Am I the butthole for refusing to help my brother-in-law pay for a vacation after he's repeatedly called me a gold digger? Posted by Saffron Lovey. I, 30-year-old female, have been married to my husband, 32-year-old male, for five years. We both work hard and are pretty comfortable financially. My husband does earn more than I do, but we have always seen it as our money. We're a team and split responsibilities equally. The issue is my brother-in-law, 34-year-old male. For years, he's made these jokes about me being a gold digger because my husband earns more. It's always in front of people, and while I usually just laugh it off to avoid making things awkward, it really bothers me. I've always worked, I contribute to our household, and it's frustrating to have that constantly dismissed like I am just living off my husband. Recently, my brother-in-law and his wife asked us to help cover their part of a family vacation because they can't afford to go on their own. My husband and I talked about it, and while we could help, I really don't feel comfortable after all the times he's disrespected me. When I said no, my brother-in-law tried to laugh it off, saying I was overreacting and that it was all just harmless jokes. I am honestly over it. Now he's upset and my in-laws are saying I'm making a big deal out of nothing, and that family helps family. My husband has my back, but I can't help second-guessing myself. Am I being too sensitive here? Am I the butthole for refusing to help because of how he has been treating me? A comment from Puadam. Not the butthole. It blows my mind how often people get called out on their BS and fail to properly apologize. Brother-in-law could very easily have said something like, I am sorry, you are rightly calling me out on this item as I see how my asking for money after teasing you about being a gold digger comes off very badly. I thought I was joking but it is clear now that my comments were hurtful and were not actually funny. I'm sorry for that and won't make those comments in the future. Perhaps if he had done that you might have reconsidered. But instead he told you the jokes were harmless, likely said you were overreacting, and then got your in-laws involved. Poor choice. OP replied. I think some people fail to develop at a certain age and their brain just think like a child's one. It's disheartening to see how the brother-in-law's repeated jokes about the OP being a gold digger have disrespected her contributions and hard work, and it's concerning that he expects financial help despite such disrespect. It's important for families to respect each other's boundaries and contributions. To the next post. Am I the butthole for letting my fiancé's parents invite my parents and sister to an intimate engagement dinner? Posted by Last Analysis 7522. I, 25-year-old female, don't have a close relationship with my family of my parents, mom, dad, and sister, 28-year-old female. I have been very low contact with them for 6.5 years and I actually skipped college so I could sustain myself without any help from my parents. My sister is the perfect golden child, the apple of our parents' eyes, and I am the person who had everything overshadowed by her. Every award I got in school, they would celebrate her and not me, on top of celebrating whenever she won something. She got gifts on my birthday and her own, but I did not get any for hers. One year my parents had this really elaborate and fancy party for my 6th or 7th birthday, and my sister got this $200 dollhouse thing to open in front of everyone and the gift I got to open was a $2 bracelet making kit from the dollar store. I also got a $5 stuffed dog that had lost an eye and was torn on one side. They would refuse to let me attend summer camp if my sister didn't have a place she wanted to go to. They said it wouldn't be fair to her. But if her choice was very expensive, I also got denied the chance to do anything for the summer because they wanted her to have her first choice. When I graduated, they spent the whole day talking to other parents about my sister instead of me. My sister would make fun of me a lot and would say our parents wanted a cute daughter instead of an ugly one like me. She used my room as storage when she ran out of space in hers. Our parents let her and she used to take up so much space and insist I could not touch her stuff. One time I moved some of her stuff that was in my way to my closet, she wasn't home for me to ask her to move it, so I pushed it aside a little to get into my closet and she yelled and screamed and our parents made me make her a dinner of her choice, as an apology, and she berated me through the whole thing. I was 17, and she was 20. My fiancé knows and supports me on my distance from my family. He knows the only time they contact me is to talk about my sister. His parents can't understand this, and have mentioned on several occasions that they believe my family misses me and my parents regret the estrangement. They encouraged me to invite them to the wedding and to try. 
They told me they don't like to think of me missing out on a beautiful relationship and hearing an apology for what went wrong. It came up so much that I told them I would pass along the information for my parents, and if they wanted to invite them to a small engagement dinner, they could and we would see. They took me up on it and my parents and sister came. It was unexpected. But they took the chance to speak about my sister throughout and said nothing to me at all. It was like I wasn't there. By the end of the dinner, my fiancé's parents felt so bad for not believing me. They could not get the topic onto me and my fiancé at all with my family. My fiancé's sister thinks I did an awful thing setting her parents up to feel bad about this. Am I the butthole? What do you think? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. Asparagus Ustweek commented. Not the butthole. Your fiancé sister can go kick rocks. Had you denied them this time, it would be a constant thread throughout the rest of your relationship. Holidays. Birthdays. Weddings. Births. Every occasion would be the same harassment. This is 100% on your fiancé's parents. They feel bad? Good. They deserve to feel awful for not listening to you. I hope this does put an end it. It just sucks that you had to endure that in what was to be a celebration for you, just so they could see it for themselves. Best of luck with everything. OP replied to that. It does. But I am also glad they now see. They don't need to keep trying to convince me that I am cared about and loved by my parents or sister. They have no doubt that my parents and sister have not changed. It seems unfortunate that the OP's parents and sister may have prioritized their relationship with the golden child over the OP, creating an environment where the OP felt undervalued and overlooked. Check out our playlist with all our videos. You can find it in the description box below. To the next post. Am I the butthole for refusing to help my siblings with my estranged mother's end-of-life care? Posted by Dear Campaign 8086. My mother, who I have been estranged from my entire adult life and since the age of 15, is terminally ill. She wasn't a great mother to any of her kids. There's me, 27-year-old male, and my sisters, 23-year-old female, 20-year-old female, and my brother, 22-year-old male. But in saying that she treated me the worst and left me homeless at the age of 15 because I looked the most like our father, who she hated with every fiber of her being, and don't ask me why she had four kids with him, I have no idea. I went entirely no contact from that point on. My siblings still lived with her, and according to them, she got better once I was gone. My siblings have always downplayed how bad it was for me and how bad she treated me. So while I still talk to them, I am not close to them, and I don't know if there's a future where that will ever happen. Which is why I refuse to help them with her end-of-life care now that she's terminally ill. They say she has about a year left and needs a lot more help than they can cover. I told them it was not my job to make sure she goes out of this world in comfort and peace. They told me she's still our mother and I told them she was the effing worst mother. That I would not shed a tear over her and I felt not one single ounce of obligation to her. They tried the do it for us angle and I told them they have minimized the stuff she did to me even though they said she got a little better once I was gone. So they know she hated me to her core. They told me I am still her son, still their brother and I am the oldest. I even got a call from her adult social worker who had been told to contact me by my siblings. She wanted to go over my mother's care with me. I explained I would not be taking part in the end-of-life care for my mother, which surprised her but she left it alone. My siblings think I am a monster and they say I should be willing to do something. This has turned into a fight three times already. Am I the butthole? A comment from Fleabag52. Not the butthole. I can so relate to this. You owe neither her nor your siblings anything. If you wanted to try contacting your mother and see if there is any slightest amount of true remorse for the way she treated you, that I may be worth considering, because once she's gone there's zero chance of any kind of resolution, but at the same time, if she's anything like mine was, she'll never admit to anything she did or being wrong in any way, in which case carry on living your life apart from her that's apparently what she wanted anyway. OP replied to that. I don't want to try. I see her as a monster and I think the world will be better off with her gone. There is no room for reconciliation between us and me. Maybe if she hadn't been so awful and hadn't left me homeless at 15, but the day she did that was the day there was truly no coming back. 
I'm sorry you had any experience with this. When your parents are awful, it leaves so much trauma and I still work on myself to make sure it doesn't turn me into an awful husband or father. It's understandable that the OP feels no obligation to help care for a mother who caused him so much pain and distress throughout his life. However, it's important to consider the impact on the OP's siblings, who may need support during this difficult time. While it's not the OP's responsibility, perhaps finding a way to help them navigate this situation could help heal some of the wounds from the past. Please consider subscribing. It is free and we post new Reddit stories every day. Check out our playlist with all our videos. You can find it in the description box below. Have a miavelous day and see you in the next one.